congratulations to all of us. It's not just us. It's, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, Kasi. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for uh, being here. Uh, as uh, President Biden uh, was quoted as saying, this is a big bleeping deal. Uh, today, all 193 members of the United Nations General Assembly have spoken in one voice and together chosen to govern artificial intelligence rather than let it govern us. The groundbreaking resolution adopted today cements global consensus for safe, secure, trustworthy AI systems, systems that both advance sustainable development and respect fundamental freedoms. And while I can talk ad nauseum about the what of this text, I want to start by acknowledging the who and the how of it, because this inclusive comprehensive resolution is inextricably linked with an inclusive, comprehensive approach to adopting it. Over the last few months, we have worked with over 120 countries representing every part of the world and every level of development. We brought on board 123 co-sponsors, including the Bahamas, the Netherlands, Morocco, Singapore, the UK, Japan, who are standing up here with me today. They are a few of the earliest co-sponsors of this resolution who've worked hand in hand with us since the very beginning. We've also engaged with stakeholders from the private sector, the technical community, civil society, and academia. And we've built on a diverse group of international initiatives on existing UN entities around AI and on efforts in our own individual countries. And I'd be remiss not to mention President Biden, Vice President Harris's real leadership on this issue brought us here and abroad. All of this work culminated in what we just saw today, a first of its kind resolution adopted not only by majority, but by consensus. Because ultimately, the risk and benefits of AI have the potential to impact all of us. And so approaching it requires all of us. The resolution we just adopted reflected our shared responsibility and collective fate. It leaves no one behind. It lays the groundwork for AI systems that leave no one behind either. Among other things, this resolution reaffirms that we must focus on capacity building and close the digital divides within and between countries so that everyone can benefit from AI. It emphasizes that no one should use AI to undermine peace or repress human rights. It calls on those creating this technology to be responsible when it comes to developing and launching new capabilities and to root out bias and discrimination in AI systems. It underscores that innovation and regulation are not mutually exclusive, but rather mutually reinforcing. It notes the importance of education, of transparency, of continued knowledge sharing on mutually agreed terms, which the US understands to mean on a voluntary basis. And it sets the stage for more close collaboration and conversation to come both within the UN and beyond it. Over the past few months, I've occasionally been asked the question, why the UN? Why should this body, with so many existential challenges on, it pl on its plate, take on AI? And the answer is simple. AI is existential. And not only in its threats, of which there are many, but in its opportunities, of which I believe there are many more. Already AI is being used to detect disease and predict natural disasters. It is helping farmers grow more food and educators reach more students. And as Secretary Blinken discussed just last week, it is helping activists and members of civil society protect our democracies. This resolution was a massive step 
toward expanding these benefits and creating even more of them, toward building and deploying AI systems that save lives and end poverty, protect our planet, and create a safer, more equitable world. Tomorrow, the hard work continues as we put our shared principles not only on paper, but into practice. But for today, I say we celebrate an extraordinary achievement and one that belongs to each and every one of us. Let me now turn the floor, the podium over to Ambassador of Japan. Uh, thank you, Linda, for your uh, statement. Uh, as one of its first co-sponsors, Japan wholeheartedly welcomes historic adoption of the UN's first ever AI resolution by consensus just a, just a while ago at the General, Council, General Assembly Hall. Japan would like to extend our utmost appreciation to Her Excellency Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield of the United States and her dedicated team for leading us until today. Japan has been promoting the discussions on the governance of advanced AI systems for the achievement of safe, secure, and transfer trustworthy AI through the Hiroshima AI process. Japan has strongly believes that the consensual adoption of this epoch-making resolution, co-sponsored by more than 100 countries, will provide a sound foundation for developing international frameworks for AI governance and fostering an enabled environment for AI systems to address the challenging facing the world. We believe the use of AI systems can accelerate the achievement of the SDGs, which risks, are, which risk, when risks are properly addressed. And we hope this resolution will contribute to closing the digital divide and ensuring the use of AI systems for the benefit of all. We expect the resolution will inform and provide important inputs to the ongoing discussions on AI at the UN toward the summit of uh, at the UN toward the summit of the future in September, including a global digital compact, the Pact for the Future, and the AI high-level advisory body. Japan will continue to actively engage in these discussions on AI at the United Nations. Thank you. Today is a great day for the United Nations. It's historical resolution for the international management of the artificial intelligence. Thanks to the initiative by the United States for this first ever resolution on this, as just my dear colleague and friend Linda just said, existential artificial intelligence for the future of the humanity. Morocco is honored to be associated to the negotiation and the presentation of this landmark resolution and commence the consensus built around it as a result of a co collaborative and inclusive process. We strongly believe that artificial intelligence offers numerous potential benefits for developing countries and particularly for African countries in various fields of sustainable development. That is why we have joined efforts with the United States from the first day on this important process with the aim to enhance a constructive dialogue on AI among UN member states and to help ensure that this fast evolving technology serves the common good of humanity. The negotiation process has resulted in balanced and consensual resolution with the following key takeaways that are of paramount importance to countries of the Global South. First, to establish a common vision through which AI systems can bridge social digital and economic divides between developed and developing countries. 
two, to strengthen capacity building and technical assistance and to support developing countries' effective, equitable, and meaningful participation and representation in international processes and forums on the governance of artificial intelligence systems. Three, to enhance digital infrastructures, collectivity, and access to technological innovation through stronger partnerships. And four, to increase funding for research and innovation linked to the sustainable development goals in digital technologies and artificial intelligence systems and strengthen the capacity of developing countries to contribute to this research and benefit from it. To conclude, this resolution is a stepping stone for existing and future multilateral initiatives on digital cooperation and on IA in particular. This resolution is not a net in itself, but the beginning of our collective journey to shape safe, secure, and trustworthy artificial intelligence systems for sustainable development that leaves no one behind. I thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a good day for the United Nations, and it's a good day for multilateralism. Today, we have demonstrated that here at the United Nations, multilateralism can deliver. Multilateralism is essential to deal with some of the most pressing global challenges that we are facing today. I want to take this opportunity to recognize and acknowledge the incredible leadership by Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield and her team here at the United Nations uh, mission, uh, US mission here in New York. Singapore was very happy to have been part of this process right from the outset, and we welcome the consensus adoption of the resolution earlier this morning. And we once again thank the United States and its government for the leadership it has demonstrated here at the United Nations. Singapore was very pleased that we were able to give our own views and inputs to this resolution. And we look at this resolution as a foundational building block that will help to facilitate the global conversation on the need to have safe, secure, and trustworthy development and deployment of artificial intelligence systems. It is well known that AI has immense potential to have widespread and positive impact on economies and societies and to accelerate the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. And AI is already revolutionizing various sectors, including in education, healthcare, agriculture, and finance. And it can offer, we are convinced in Singapore, to bridge the digital divide and increase digital literacy of people around the world. It's also important, we believe, that member states can benefit from AI advancements in an inclusive and equitable manner. And in order to achieve these, we need to enhance international cooperation and understanding, especially given the fact that AI is a very fast moving and it is an inherently borderless technology. And we also believe that to properly harness the benefits of AI, it needs to be deployed in a responsible and ethical way in accordance with international norms and international law. As Singapore, we will continue to contribute actively to the conversation here at the United Nations and elsewhere in order to support this growing international convergence and to build a global framework relating to governance at the, UN, at the UN and in other multilateral fora. And it is in this regard that we also welcome the establishment of the Secretary General's High Level Advisory Board on AI, which held its second in-person meeting last week in Geneva. And we look forward to its final report and recommendations, which will be submitted later this year. I thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as the previous uh, speakers have said, it's uh, really a historic day 
for the United Nations and humanity, and also a very positive one. Um, as you may know, as one of the initial co-sponsors, the Kingdom of the Netherlands is a keen supporter of the U.S. resolution on artificial intelligence for, intelligence for sustainable development, and we're delighted that it was adopted by consensus today. Um, my country has been on the forefront of cross-regional discussions on AI governance by hosting the first summit on responsible use of artificial intelligence in the military domain early last year. Many relevant, significant initiatives on AI have followed swiftly, such as the EU AI Act. This act can contribute to shaping an informed and inclusive dialogue on AI governance, particularly with the UN providing the right platform for such global dialogue. We therefore consider this AI resolution to be timely. We believe it is fitting to bring AI to the UN General Assembly, especially in times where technology continues to develop with unprecedented speed and AI has become fully integrated within our, within, within our daily lives. In order to mitigate the risks and seize the potential of AI systems to revolutionize the way forward, all UN member states and stakeholders have a role to play in ensuring that AI systems are safe, secure, and trustworthy. We need to bridge the digital divide and make sure AI systems are firmly anchored in international law, human rights, and fundamental freedoms. The consensus reached today underlines the very importance of a collective approach to the governance of artificial intelligence and highlights the urgency of action because when AI is adequately governed, it will hugely benefit our lives, our societies, and that of future generations. Thank you. So first of all, I'll just uh, join my fellow co-sponsors in congratulating uh, Ambassador Thomas Greenfield and uh, Chris Liu and the US team on a remarkable achievement uh, today, as, as has been said. Um, this adoption today by consensus of a first ever General Assembly resolution um, is a, a serious step forward for the UN. The United Kingdom is proud to have co-sponsored this resolution. It sets a common global vision for AI systems, one that respects human rights, supports sustainable development and encourages responsible innovation. The United Kingdom is focused on driving international action which is why we've invested $127 million in the AI Safety Institute for Research. Um, we held the first AI Safety Summit last year, and we brought the first uh, AI discussion to the Security Council last year. To harness AI's full potential and contain its greatest risks, we are going to have to work together. No one country or organization can do it alone. This resolution is a testament to that here at the UN, we are working together to do just that. Thank you. I think we have time for a couple on-topic questions. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nate. <laughs> Maggie. Thank you, Ambassadors. Uh, I hope this stakeout is not replaced by uh, ChatGPT anytime soon. Um, Ambassador, uh, on Gaza, we all want to know when the resolution is going to be brought to a vote. I started with ChatGPT. <laughs> we all want to know when the, the vote is going to come. So if you could just fill us in, bring us up to date, Look, thanks. As, as you know, uh, although this question is not on topic, uh, <laughs> but uh, as you know, we have been working diligently over the course of the past uh, few days, even uh, the past few hours, uh, to uh, move forward our, our resolution. We have the resolution in blue. We just made some additional changes in the resolution uh, that were requested, and we look forward to bringing uh, the resolution to a vote as quickly as possible. Actually on topic questions? <laughs> <laughs> if it's off topic, I'll let yes. one of the other ambassadors <laughs> answer. Yes, Ambassador Stefano Vaccaravoce di New York. Uh, this is a great but it's an unbinding resolution. Are you going to present a resolution of the Security Council on the matter? Look, we thought the best place for this resolution was in the General Assembly that brings all 193 countries uh, to the table 
to agree to the tenets of this resolution. So we don't have any intention of bringing this to the Security Council. We don't even think there's a need to bring it to the Security Council because this resolution lays down the foundation and the platform for how we will address uh, AI moving forward. And having all 193 countries agree to that, I think, sends a very strong message. say what I did the last time, I just want to know how uh, artificial intelligence can change the life, the lives of remote, remote uh, villages in Africa when they don't have water or electricity. You know, I, I, Edie, that is, uh, sorry, uh, that is the most uh, important question uh, uh, to ask today because AI will be able to bring to people in remote villages access to, uh, to technology, but access to the basic needs that they didn't have access to uh, before. And the whole idea of this is to bridge that gap so that we can figure out how we deliver water uh, to women in villages. We can figure out how we help women farmers uh, address uh, their need for uh, better production uh, methods and better methods of getting their, their food uh, to, uh, to market. Uh, so I think this will address those needs. In fact, I know it will address those needs. This is about the sustainable development goals. All of those goals reach to uh, the basic needs of everyday people. Thank you. 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 Thank